The raindrops keep falling on my head. But that doesn't mean my eyes will soon be turning red. Okay, no. This is not a singing video. JK. Oh, baby, baby. How much we belong. Oh, baby, baby. Anyway, it's your girl Rain. I'm coming on YouTube here with another video. This video is going to be talking about marketing and really trying to focus on your business, your uh, small business. I know people don't like the term small, but the fact of the matter is if you work in that thing by yourself where it's one or two people, it is a small business and that's okay. Your small business can do big things. So um, I'm just coming on here just to talk about marketing as a small business. I had this conversation with um, another business owner who has been doing this for a long time and been in the game. And we just were talking about marketing and what works, what doesn't work. So I figured, let me put that in a video because I feel like other people will benefit from that conversation. So when you are a small business, um, you don't have a lot of employees. So you really need to hit the pavement when it comes to letting people know about your brand. Um, I feel like a misconception is um, a misconception that people may have when they do have a business or they might post their business is that everybody knows about it or you're the first thing that everybody thinks about because nine times out of 10, you're not. If you're not continually posting um, and you have to post strategically, uh, I feel like what um, I, I don't know if you watched my previous videos, but I do work at Kasai McCoy Studios with my fiance. I'm just going to mention that every video because I just got engaged. Go anyway. ahead and do that, boo. <laughs> anyway. I'm working right now full time uh, at Kasai McCoy Studios. That is my fiance's business. Um, you know, he just rebranded and did a lot of things, but he's been working his business, building his business. And one thing that he does well when it comes to marketing that I do feel like I have helped in that area is he shows his journey, his process, whereas it's not just an advertisement or a flyer saying support me or, you know, an advertisement about photo shoots. It's the journey, the grind of an entrepreneur. And I feel like people seeing that, it, they get an appreciation and they want to be a part of it. So I feel like if you do post things on Facebook or social media, Instagram, because you might not be able to afford to buy an ad in te on television or put a commercial on TV. So Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, that's your, that's, your, that's your marketplace. So when you're on there, show your process. Don't just post ads because people get real bored of that real quick when they just see words in a, in a picture they, they tired of that it's boring it's done so don't do that post your journey on top of that one thing that I said that I think is pivotal is you gotta you gotta work your business like you got 50 employees so you need to have a marketing strategy how are you going to post consistently every week what is going to be your I guess maybe if you want to post on Monday Wednesday, Friday, and Sundays. Let's say you choose four days out of the week that you want to post. And you get up there and you say, okay, Mondays I'm going to post motivation, an inspirational type of something. And then Wednesdays I'm going to post something that's like a special that I'm doing. Oh, I, I love, like we do photography. So I'm going to post about headshots on Wednesdays, about how headshots are great for whatever you're doing. Headshots are great for um, if you are in real estate you need might need a headshot we're running a special this week or we're we're specializing in headshots this month we're doing all our focus on headshots you can get 10 percent off or something like that just something talking about headshots maybe somebody talking about how they got a headshot from your company so that's just a small example and then maybe friday can be something about oh we have this big event that we're preparing for on friday we're so excited or you know something that is pertaining to your business but still fun and still kind of playful on social media. So that's how you need to start. What are going to be my four posts or three posts a week that I'm going to be consistent and be in people's faces, showing them my process, showing them that I'm booked and busy, even if I got to fake it. Because the thing about it is you can get your friend to pose and do a headshot and say, okay, I want to do some, pra I want to practice. Okay, come with me. You know, we're just going to do this headshot and then I'm going to talk about it. I'm, that's how I'm going to market it. Right? So, and it could be anything. If you sell nail polish, okay, I got a friend, I did their nails real quick. This is, oh, this lovely pink nail polish. Bubbly, it's Bubbly Pink Wednesday. Like, be fun. Create really nice hashtags and nice things that you can post, nice captions. You can research your, your captions. I look, I look for captions on Google, 
all the time because I want it to be something fun, something that people can really hone in on and that they, they, they feel like, oh, that was, I like that post. I'm going to love that. I'm going to show this post some love. I'm going to comment. I'm going to share it. You know? So that's number one. Act like you got 50 employees. Create a marketing strategy. And what I like to, what I'm starting to promote is for you to prepare for the next two months. So write out your post or it could be for the next month. What are you going to post that's going to be consistent for the next four weeks? So you don't have to think about it in the moment. You actually have a plan. Okay, I, we do weddings. Okay, so the second week, I'm going to just promote weddings. I'm going to talk about my journey when we went to Costa Rica. And we, I mean, no, we didn't go to Costa Rica. We went to Mexico and we shot our weddings. I'm going to talk about that process and get people to know, oh, they do weddings too. Let me remember that. Oh, they do headshots. Let me remember that because that's how people start remembering what your brand does based off of what you post. You can't post it one time last year and then boom, somebody getting married in two years and they remember you do destination weddings. It don't work like that. They got to be in their face all the time. Um, I think we were doing moving services at one point when because I'm Koi Studios with Studio 15 Productions. We were doing moving services a lot and somebody had posted that they were getting a U-Haul or they had... um, contacted Kasai and they were like oh man I forgot that you do moving services and he kind of was like oh man I don't I don't know how people can forget that but if you're not consistently posting it's easy for them to forget they're not thinking about it and really our thinking is subconscious when you go out on the street you see U-Haul everywhere so subconsciously that's just the first thing that you that you contact because why wow, U-Haul that's easy I see it all the time I'm seeing her advertisements it's in my brain so you want to be in people's brain you you have a brand You want your brand to be in people's brains and you have to do that strategically. So how do you do that? You have to, for the month, sit down, really plan out. Okay. For the first week, these are going to be my three posts that I'm going to post the second week. These are going to be my three posts. The third week, these are going to be my three posts in the fourth week. That way it's already mapped out. You don't got to even stress when it comes to that week. You just start posting. Record yourself on a video. Hey, what's up? What's up, y'all? My name is Lala and I sell lashes. Lala Lashes is having a 15. You know, you have to be you have to be personal. You have to really get people to um, connect with you. Bring your personality and don't be scared. Like, don't be scared. At the end of the day, you're not Geico. You don't have 50 million offices and a lizard to represent you. You got you. You are. You have to market you. And at the end of the day, nobody can market you better than you. You know, you don't have 50 employees. So what you got to do? You got to fake it till you make it. You got to pretend. You got to say, okay, how can I think? And if you're working a full-time job, you got to, after work, clock into your business. You cannot work full-time and just forget about your business and work your business one time a week. It's not going to work like that. It's like you working eight hours somewhere. I need to clock into my business for two hours today. Until I can find the time or until I can be relieved from that job. I need to make my, my job an investor. So what your nine to five is investing into your business. And then what are you doing? Working that business at night. So as you're working that business at night, you can't just make product. You need to market, market your business, create a marketing strategy, a marketing plan and research it. Go on YouTube. How do I market my business properly? I sell, I don't know. I sell pocketbooks. How can I market that properly? How can it be? How can it sell? How is it going to be profitable? And like I said, a couple ways you can do that is create a marketing plan, do your post, three posts per week, get it going, and then you research other ways of what you can do and how you can bring traction to your business. But at the end of the day, if it ain't even people's faces, they're not going to remember you. So you want to make sure that you are in their face, you are posting about it, but you're not being annoying and posting flyers every day. Don't annoy people. They're going to they gonna unfollow you. They like you, so they're going to stay friends with you. But they're going to unfollow you because they're tired of seeing them same posters. And they're tired of seeing them same words. They're tired. So don't do that. Be interactive. Take pics. No, that was shots fired. Oh. <laughs> that was not shots fired. Tell them, about, tell them about these business owners that do not like to show themselves on uh, stories. And they just post words every once in a while. Okay, so let's talk about that. Another reason why I feel like... Because Simon McCoy Studios has done well is because we do show our personality on our story. We cannot just show you pictures getting printed out or just the photo shoot props or just the cameras and the lights. People are going to get bored. And, I, and I, 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 it baffles me when I go on people's story and they ain't showing nothing but just products, products, products. I'm not watching that. I'm clicking through. Turn it. What? What'd you say? I don't know what he said, but anyway. I said, I hate it. Oh, you hate it. Yeah, I hate that too because you got to be interactive. Like, hey, today we are at 
I don't know. We're in Soho, New York, and I have an online boutique, and we're going to be selling these items. And I'm, what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to put together what is going to be my spring look. You know, spring looks are so stressful because you just getting out of winter. You don't know what people want. You want to know what the color of the week is. You see how interactive that is and how, like, exciting? Okay, look at this pink blouse. I think I'm going to go with this collection. Okay, I'm going to try these on. And really t let people go along your journey with you because, okay, yeah, you can just post up a shirt and say, hey, I'm selling these, and that's it, and just continue to post shirts, but it needs to be more than that. At the end of the day, okay, maybe your family will support you. Maybe your friends of your family will, will friends of your family members will support you. But really, how big is going to be your reach if you don't really do the work, if you're just showing the shirt, and then that's it? No, show yourself, and don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to show your face. Don't be afraid to show your personality. And my thing is, your personality may be... You don't have to have my personality. Yeah, people you want be you. A cornball. It don't what? matter. No, a for cornball. real. For real. Because people, they doubt themselves. And it don't matter who you are. You could be a nerd, a geek, whatever. You could be the most outgoing person. But you got to show your personality. You are who you are. Boop taking over my video. Hit the story. Hit the story. We want to see your face. We want to see your face. We want to see some action. We want to see, see some, some action. behind the scenes. We want to see we some behind see the scenes. Work. Okay, so I'm not watching your story if you're not posting nothing. So that's that. I wonder why your views is down and stuff, but you gotta post some action. Mm -hmm. Why am I gonna look forward to tuning into your story? You done? Boo? Okay, so that's what this video is about. It's about marketing, and you know what? I'm gonna just throw a little customer service in there because I'm feeling that in my spirit right now. Come on. When you are also doing business. Customer service. Customer service is like very important. I think you gotta have customer service. Kasai, cut it. <laughs> like, get out of my video. I'm not playing. At the end of the day, people are also gonna remember how you treat them when you're doing business Most with them. Most importantly, that's what they're gonna remember. And, and you cannot just do whatever you want to do or treat people ho however when they're giving their money. People work hard for their money. Yes. They go to jobs they hate for their money. You know what I'm saying? They get talked to talk, people. Bosses be yelling at people and they do it. Why? For their money. So when people are spending their money with you, show that you are appreciative of them spending that dollar with you. Because I don't care if your item is five dollars, two dollars, three dollars or a thousand. When they're buying from you, you need to show some appreciation and some customer service. Thank you so much for shopping with us. Here is your item. I never forget. My sister said she bought something from somebody. They sat in their car while she got the item from them and were on the phone and said, thank you, please tag us. Did not even look at her. How, how, how impersonal. And my thing is, my sister supported that business because it was a small business. It was a black owned business. And she really wanted to connect with that. Like, oh, let me show them some support. They doing their thing. They posting on Instagram and Facebook. But when she met that person in, in person, she, she had such a bad experience with them that she never shopped with them again. So along with your marketing strategy, being in people's faces, and really what you need to do is be omnipresent. You need to always be present. Like people need to always see you, even if it's just on social media. They need to always see you, your personality, and your product. On top of that, when they purchase your product, show that beautiful, wonderful customer service. And sometimes you might mess up. I have a friend, uh, her name is Jamie. Well, her name is Jasmine, we call her Jamie. She has an online boutique, GM Glam. Somebody order something, and then they didn't, she didn't have what they ordered in stock. She apologized. She reached out to the customer right away. She said, I'm sorry for that. Well, whatever, whatever. And the lady told her, you know what? Keep the money for that. Keep, you, can, you can have it. Unfortunately, she already refunded it, but she didn't even feel bad because she knew, wow, this person values how I handled that because they didn't even want me to do send. They didn't even want me to give them their money back. Why? Because I was prompt. I fixed my issue because in business, everything's not going to go perfectly. It's not always going to be smooth sailing where you present the product and the customer is happy. It's not always going to go like that. Sometimes you are going to get complaints. Sometimes you are going to get things that don't go how you want them to go. But it's up to you to fix it. Sometimes you can give out the best product and you're still going to have complaints. That's true. It's about how you handle that, though. It's about how you handle it. Because you can't catch an attitude with a customer. You have to accept what that customer is saying. I like what you did. You have to breathe, stretch, That's what you got to do. Breathe, shake, stretch, shake, let it go. work it out. Accept what that customer is saying and fix the issue and do it with grace. And then that challenges you to do better. Exactly. A lot of times when the complaints are coming, it says, okay, what can I fix in my business to make it more efficient for the customer? Exactly. The next one that's coming. Exactly. That way, that's here. that way you don't make that mistake again. So when those 
conflicts come, you learn, okay, I need to put this in my invoice or I need to put do this. Yeah, real quick you know? example, somebody say, oh, how can I get access this on your website? Okay, I need to access, I need to add that to my website. Anything else? <laughs> I'll save this for my videos. <laughs> anyway. Well, you have 15 minutes, so um, your production time is wrapping up. All right, up. I'm done. This is good. This is a long I video. Have great customer service here, but unfortunately, your time is wrapping up. Anyway, so that's all that I have. Marketing plan. You need to have great customer service. And this is just, you know, post consistently. Pick three days out of the week. Pick what you want to post ahead of time. Don't be just posting stuff, you know, on the fly. Like, plan it out. Oh, one more thing, guys. Yes. The length of your post. Come on, hit that real quick. Okay, yes. This is a really big pet peeve of mine. When you're on Instagram and Facebook, please do not make your post this long. <laughs> and you know what I mean? Because when I have to press see more and it's this long, I'm not going to read it. It's too much. In business, people want things that are catchy, that's going to catch their eye, and that's going to make them remember. If they see that long post, they're going to remember not to to read your post in the future. <laughs> That's what they're going to remember, really. Like, oh, she posts too much. She posts too much info on hers and they're not going to be interested. So think of something catchy. Like I said, you can Google your captions. You can look at something, you know, or you it can come from the heart as well, but let it be catchy. Let it be fly and like, come on, like, let's let's just do better. Let's not post. Because my thing is, because I used to do that. Yeah, He used to post a long and, story. And what was really bad about me is, in that long story, I was being overly professional. Overly posting all these big words along with the long story, well, and nobody want to figure no, out what you say. Nobody want to do nah. that. They don't want to do that. They want to read it. They want it to be cute, nice. They want to remember it. And they want to move on with their life. And they want people don't have a long attention span. So when you're making those posts and you want to invite people in, make it catchy, make it cute, have a marketing plan. And if you need help with that. We help business owners with their marketing because I, I realize that people don't know that we help business plans, business owners with their marketing. We do have a marketing plan. We do do social media for other businesses. So if you need a consultation or you just want to talk and you want me to inform you on what to do, I can do that for a small fee because I am an entrepreneur and I do not clock into a nine to five. So I can do that for a small she fee. Gotta eat that so that's that. I'm done. I love and you guys. with the length of your post, guys. You have to also remember that people are busy, so they also don't have the time. Right, they don't have time. They want to see other people's posts, okay? Right. They're on Facebook to scroll. They're not on right. Facebook to get stuck. Think about the other person. Hey, I'm on break, and I'm just on Facebook for a couple right. of seconds. Do I have time to read this post? Next time, I'm going to invite Kasai to the couch yeah, to talk to you. Yeah, maybe I need to get on the couch. Yeah, but, but right. At least you got my vocals for now. I'm not looking like this way. You right now, so it's all good, so I'm going to just be vocalized. You feel me? Okay. We're going to say goodbye. Thank yeah, you guys for it's listening. Gonna be a lot of editing, so it's, it's not. not it's not, because we're going to just post the whole thing up. Like, it's not going to be a lot of editing. Oh, uh, yeah, but, you know, yeah. I need my videos to be uh, more than 10 minutes so I can monetize on, on, on YouTube That's anyway. a tip. That's a tip. I need to get paid from YouTube, too, so my video free needs, tip, free tip. needs to be more than 10 minutes anyway, so I'm okay with this going over well, a little bit. Well, this is 18 minutes, honey, so we're going to wrap this up. Anyway. Right? Bye. Thank you guys for tuning in. And also with that. Kasai, cut it. Stop talking. <laughs> Bye. Thank you guys no, for tuning in. No, 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 no. Stop no, talking. I have one more tip. I have one Go ahead, Kasai. I have one more tip. Go ahead. Two of what you're saying in these long posts. Oh, no, that's not even what I wanted to say. What I was going to say is it's okay to have a long post once in a while. Once in a while. But not every post. Not every post. Thank you for that tip. Okay, we're going to wrap up. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. This, what am I saying? Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for tuning in. Rain out. Hallelujah.